What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Detach Garage. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Sean and this channel is all about helping you guys plan, design, build, and upgrade your garage. If that sounds interesting at all to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. In today's episode, we're talking EV charging and which charger I should buy. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, thanks again for watching Detached Garage. In today's episode, we are talking EV charging. So if you guys have an EV charger, I wanna know what it is. Throw the brand, the make and model of your EV charger in the comments below. I'm really interested to see what type of EV chargers you guys have at home. If you guys have been following along on the channel, my wife and I recently purchased a 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid minivan. My wife has wanted a minivan for a long time now. We have our second child on the way in January, and so taking the EV plunge. This minivan is the best EV on the market today, and we will have another episode coming up on the minivan where I do a little bit of, a, bit of an overview and kind of talk through the features and why we went with the hybrid versus just the normal Pacifica. So. Since we have the hybrid, we are looking to get a level two charger. The standard charger that comes with the vehicle is great. It plugs right into your normal North American outlet and uh, it can charge it up to 16 amps. At 16 amps on that voltage, it basically takes 12 to 14 hours to charge depending on voltage fluctuations and the temperature of the battery and all that. So. Um, 12 to 14 hours to charge. It's not a huge deal because, you know, the wife gets home six o'clock, plugs it in, and then by eight o'clock when she's ready to leave the next morning, uh, it's fully charged and ready to go. But what we've run into is uh, faster charging. So we're out running errands and then we come back and we plug it in. Um, and you know, you're, you're only getting a few miles per hour worth of charging and we wanna charge faster to top it off before a long trip or something like that. So there's three different chargers I am looking at potentially purchasing. Number one is the ChargePoint Flex. Now the Flex is a recent addition to the ChargePoint lineup and it is designed to grow with you as you upgrade your garage infrastructure. So you can take one off the shelf right now, buy a ChargePoint Flex and buy the adapter to go to either NEMA 650 or NEMA 1450 from your standard wall outlet. Not a huge deal at all. And it will charge up to the max amperage that your wall outlet can put out. So right now for me, it's 16 amps. But as you grow and as you upgrade your charging infrastructure and your electrical infrastructure in your house, you can go all the way up to 50 amps, which is pretty awesome. The ChargePoint Flex, you can't adjust that on the fly through the app, but it is a connected charger. And so as long as you have Wi-Fi and you can access your phone, you can see charge rate, you can see um, a lot of different things through the existing ChargePoint app. Um, that gives a lot of good functionality, but I've emailed them about adding that feature to vary the maximum charge amperage, and they don't quite have that feature yet. So that's why I'm looking at these other two chargers. Uh, charger number two is the Juicebox Pro 32 and 40. So the 32 is a 32 amp, the 40 is a 40 amp. So looking at those two chargers right now, um, they have the ability to vary the charge. So current operating procedure and current lifestyle for us really is my wife gets home, plugs in the vehicle around six or seven o'clock at night, and it is fully charged, ready to go the next day when she leaves for work. But if she gets home at five, six o'clock, six, seven o'clock, and then we need to leave to go somewhere, um, I'd really like to be able to increase the charging amperage knowing that we're gonna go somewhere in a few, um, in an hour or so, to try and get more, um, more range. And since it only has a um, 33 mile of range capacity at maximum charge, I'd really like to get that uh, turned up 
quite a bit. So the Charge Point Flex is $699. The Juice Box Pro is $499. And the Juice, sorry, the Juice Box Pro 32 is $499. And the Juice Box Pro 40 is $579. The third option I'm looking at is the Charge Storm Connected. Charge Storm was a company that was recently purchased by SeaTech. Uh, and SeaTech battery chargers are all over the place. That you see these all the time, and they are battery tenders for, you know, when you're storing your vehicle over the winter or something like that. You plug the SeaTech in, and it'll keep the battery charged and monitor the battery's health as well, and protect your battery when you're storing it for a long period of time. So. The juice box and the charge storm have the ability in the app to vary that state of charge, which is why I'm really looking forward to potentially buying one of those versus just the charge point, uh, which you can grow your infrastructure, but you can't dial the state of charge from the app. Three options, charge point flex, Juice Box Pro 32 and 40 probably would go with the 32 since the Pacifica can only take 30 amps anyways, or the Charge Storm Connected by SeaTech. So, and that one is $1,000 before VAT. Uh, I don't know if they're selling them in the US or not. I had to convert from uh, the currency that they're in today, but Overall, three different chargers. Really excited to get one of these installed in the garage. Let me know in the comments, do you have any experience with any of these chargers? And let me know which one you think I should purchase. We'll do a whole unboxing video and we'll do a whole um, installation video as well. If you wanna see future episodes on a specific topic, please put them in the comments below. Thank you guys again for watching Detached Garage.